Today I'm gonna to show you how to make vanilla sugar. Um, vanilla sugar is very expensive if you buy it, and sometimes you can only find it in Europe, but it's not particularly expensive to make at home. It's good if you sprinkle it on top of a cupcake or on top of a cookie or on top of a cappuccino. I mean, it's good for all kinds of things where you can't really use an extract, where you don't wanna be adding this weird alcoholic liquid to your product. So what you do is, this is what a vanilla bean looks like, which is a pod, actually, and you cut it in half, and you open it up, and if you want, I'll just show you this, you can scrape the seeds. That's what you do if you were using it, for instance, in ice cream, you would scrape it. Really, for the vanilla sugar, if you want to, you could scrape it and put it in your vanilla sugar, or you could also just take that that's been cut and just stick it in some sugar. This is just granulated sugar, and you just stick it in there, maybe because this isn't so tall, you could break it in half. You stick it in there, and you leave it for two weeks, and it becomes vanilla sugar. If you make this much of it, it's fairly expensive because I think each vanilla bean is a few dollars, maybe two or three dollars, but that one vanilla bean could flavor maybe five or six times as much sugar, and once you use the sugar up, you could just keep using the vanilla bean, it will, it, it will flavor it indefinitely. Plus, if you are using vanilla beans for anything else, like if you're using them to make ice cream, if you're using them to make a custard sauce, you could add it to your vanilla sugar you know, along with the pods that are already there. Or if you have these, if you start saving them, you can make vanilla sugar out of those and you never have to buy a separate one for it. If nothing else, it's worth it for the smell. I mean, it smells divine. So I really suggest you make it at home. You'll be saving yourself lots of money and you will love it.